Now time for a segment we like to call Things to Care About. And since I'm here for Christine, Nikki Williams is here. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence, my friend. Thank you. I mean, I heard you guys are going to be talking about dogs, so yes. I hung by. Yes, we were just talking about our mutual love for dogs, and you want one, but you don't think you'd be a good enough dog mom because you're not home, and that's smart. I wouldn't you know? be a good enough dog mommy, yeah, but I always right. like to help Yes. with okay. um, animal shelters and, um, and the places that help get them adopted, yes. adoptionate, like angels it's among us. And it's a passion. Also, I really love Ernie's journey on Instagram. I follow oh. that dog, follow that dog, the thing's the best, like a Brussels griffin, to grumpy Yes, animal. you've oh. sent that to me before. That is a good, that's a good follow. Okay, we're not sure. going to talk about dogs anymore because we're, we're talking we're about breakups today. Oh. Take and it, it away, doesn't even matter mm -hmm. how the relationship ended, they always suck. Right. Mm -hmm. And it can be hard to watch a friend go through something like that. So self.com has some tips on what you should be saying to your broken-hearted bestie and what you definitely shouldn't be saying. Okay, let's get into it. For instance, things to say. You are allowed to be sad. Mm -hmm. Now, validating mm -hmm. your friend's feelings gives her some permission to work through them and get closer to moving on. So you're, uh, you're giving them some freedom to grieve. Right. Well, I don't think we should ever judge how anyone reacts to any situation, no matter what it is. And you're entitled to your feelings. And however long it takes you to process and get over something that's happened to you, then that's your deal. And you should support your friend, obviously. I know. The tough love thing is just never good for a situation like that. Because what kind of creature can just right. toss a relationship aside like it never happened and be emotionless about it? I mean, right. we're just humans, after no, all. we are. So. Although I will say that when I get to a point, I'm... I'm done. Well, that's good. Yeah. I mean, I'm it's like, good oh, to be done, yes. but you still have to compartmentalize. <laughs> true. You give yourself some grace mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. grieve. I okay, think it's I like a good, that. Give good, yourself some grace. I like that, Nikki. Good okay. Like, give yourself some mm -hmm. grace. Another nice thing to say, quote, I promise you're much better off. That's what we all want to hear, right? The mm -hmm. trick to making her believe this one is coming prepared with proof. Otherwise, it can seem a little insincere. It doesn't even have to be something that monumental. Anything that helps her realize there's exciting potential in being single will do. Okay, I like that. Maybe yeah. focusing on the, like, I think you said it yesterday, we can go on a trip or we can do this or that. Not that you couldn't when you were with somebody, but maybe it's easier now that he or she has a little bit more free time. But um, yeah, I like that. That's good. Yeah, Focus like you don't, positive. you don't have to consider another person right now. You can be selfish. You right. can go on whatever trip you want to go on, indulge in whatever, because you don't have to consider that other person right now. And there's, you know, there's some fun in that. Right. But what if you say to somebody like, oh, you, I promise you're so much better off. And they're like, well, why didn't you tell me that when we were together? That's so true. You know? That's, that's a thing that is. But you probably don't want to hear it when you're in the relationship until you're ready to hear it. We should rename this segment to things you want to hear in bad situations. <laughs> yes. Another thing you want yes, to hear is, it is it's okay to have a bad day. That goes back to giving yourself some grace. Giving someone permission and space to grieve can help them find the energy to make the next day a little bit easier. Okay. Like nice that. little safety net. Yes, now, I already feel better. Things you don't want to say. Okay. And there are plenty of fish in the sea is mm. the first one at the top of this list. This can trivialize the relationship that you just had that ended and it makes it seem like you can just move on quickly because it was nothing. Right. There's more I mean, fish in the sea. I think every situation is obviously different and maybe if your friend has been gr like grieving or complaining about this relationship for a long time, you might be like, look, I'm tired of you. Like, let's just keep it moving. You mm -hmm. know, maybe with change that flat tire, get on down the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes maybe your friend needs to hear that, but I guess it's probably like case by case basis. And I think seeing is believing. Mm -hmm. So if it's a girl that's into guys, you just bring her a lot of hot dude, like a hot dude buffet. <laughs> and be okay. like, see? I like that. I'm a Where show me girl. That? Oh no, wait, I'm very happy. Yes, I've been me married too. a long time. Yes. Okay. Another <laughs> thing not to say. Everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. Comments like this diminish the magnitude of your friend's choice to get married or be in that relationship and why she felt so devastated after the breakup. If you ever feel the urge to say this, mm -hmm. stop yourself. Okay. Yeah. Well, I won't say that. I promise. I won't yeah. say that. Okay. Um, I think we have time for the last one really quickly. Oh, no. No, we don't. We don't. We'll put this on our <laughs> Facebook like, page. Wait, wait, wait. We don't. We'll put this on our Facebook page in case you need to um, have any of this advice at your arm's Screenshot length. Screenshot it. Yes. Keep it in your phone. Do it. And let us know what you say to your or friends don't do in it. need. Or don't say to your friends in need. Nick Williams, thank you so much for being thank here. You. I'll see you tomorrow.